Undocumented students who worry the government might deport them at any time are about to get a window of opportunity to possibly stay in the U.S. Beginning in about a week, August 15th, the students can apply for an exemption to deportation. The Obama administration approved the policy in June. Organizations that help immigrants are preparing for a flood of applications. KFDM reporter Leslie Rangel is investigating. She joins us now in the studio with details. Leslie. Yes, Kelly, immigration policy sometimes can be confusing. This policy should not be confused with the DREAM Act, a proposed law that would grant undocumented students citizenship. Last week, students at UT in Austin rallied in support of the DREAM Act. The deferred action policy will not grant citizenship. It will allow students who are at least 15 years old to remain in the U.S. and go to school without risking deportation. Today, workers with Catholic Charities of Southeast Texas took part in a webinar to learn more about the deferred action policy. To be eligible, they have had to have entered the U.S. before they were 16 and lived in the country for at least five years. The application fee is $465. Catholic Charities is bracing for hundreds of applications. It's kind of scary, but because it, it, it's, it's a large number. Um, we typically process cases here at a rate of about uh, anywhere from 50 to 90 cases a month. But it is a little glimmer of hope for some people who have nothing and who've been living under the shadows. The government will review each application. Catholic Charities is hosting three informational workshops about the Deferred Action Policy. The workshops are free. Other than immigration attorneys, Catholic Charities is the only agency in this area certified to work on the application process. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News.